Hello everyone, this is Mopbot. This is my new single player series and this is episode one. So I just spawned here, I'm in a jungle. There's a temple right here. Now how lucky was that to spawn next to a temple? And it gave me some pretty cool inspiration. Um, I'll show you in a minute. There's some area out there. I don't know if you can actually see it from here. And yeah, so it's pretty open except for the trees. And it actually gets more open over there. So I'm basically gonna recreate this Crap, where'd he go? <laughs> I'm going to be recreating this temple over there. It's going to be pretty awesome, I think. It's going to be much, much bigger. Probably about five or six times bigger. And there's actually another sapling. <laughs> These things just keep showing up. So let's go in there. But first, I've done a little something for this. I have put together... Uh, that's not right. I've put together a new resource pack. So I'm just going to take... I'll keep that up as a backup in case I missed anything. But it's a combination of John Smith and Ovo's. And I think there might be a little bit of Faithful in there. I believe the, yes, the lava is actually from Faithful. I think that's all. But let's see how this looks. If Minecraft would start responding. Come on. This, right past, this resource pack is quite large. So it looks pretty cool, really. I chose some of my favorite things from the two packs. They are two different sized packs, uh, which maybe explains why it took a little bit longer. The cobblestone is only, I believe, 16 pixels wide. Whereas, or 32, I believe, actually. Yes, 32. And some other stuff, like these leaves here, are 64 wide. And so I think it uses more 64 than 32. But let's go ahead on in here. I might have to resize some stuff. How do I actually get in here? Uh, I might have to resize some stuff based on lag, but it should hopefully be pretty good. Where do I actually come in? <laughs> uh, I think here. Um, okay, yep, that looks right. Here we go. Oh, can I... No, okay, that's fine. I thought I could fall down there. What actually is that? That's a stair. Okay, so having no weapons, maybe this isn't the best idea to be going down here, but I did just spawn there, so maybe nothing spawned. I launched the world in peaceful and had to turn it up to hard. Let's make sure there's no, uh, what do you want to call it? The, uh, string. I'm going to make sure that's not going to, there we, ow! That hurt. Okay, let's get rid of those. Did I hit another one? Was there another one back here? Uh, that's quite strange. Okay, well... Let's keep moving. I can't remember exactly where everything is. Let's just uh, unhook that there so I don't have to risk that. Actually, nope, not right. <laughs> Let's go in there. All right, just a few arrows. And we'll pick up the redstone as well. That goes all the way over there, I guess. We'll get that at some later point. And what's in here? We got iron, some bones, some rotten flesh, and ow, <laughs> more tripwire. I forgot that was there. <laughs> so let's grab up the redstone. Ah, a few more arrows. All right. So I know there's more chests in here, but I don't have a pick as of the moment, so we're going to get those in a little bit. Actually, I probably could. Well, how long would it take to punch this stuff out, do you reckon? Probably too long. I can't actually really tell. It's really dark in here. Now it's going to be too long. All right, I'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, but I want to explain... I need food. I need to explain a little bit uh, of what the series is going to be. Uh, I've come into a lot more recording time now, and so I want to... Do another series, which I think is completely manageable. That doesn't mean Pentacraft is going anywhere. It's not going anywhere at all, really. It's just that the projects have gotten to a point now where they're going to get quite a bit bigger, and so it's going to take me quite a lot longer to record everything. And so I'm going to have less frequent episodes of those just because of the project size, so I can get more done in one episode. And so I thought I'd start another series to kind of compensate for the loss of videos. And now I really need food. I should not sprint. That is not a wise idea especially coming to be uh, night. So over here is where I'm going to be building the replica, and this whole area here is going to be my base. Um, I'm using, obviously, you know, the rustic texture packs uh, to be combined into my own rustic texture pack. And so what I want to do, I need food really bad. <laughs> there should be animals around here. Um, I guess I'll just punch out this tree here. Um, but yeah, so it's going to be a rustic base, uh, very rustic-themed, kind of medieval-looking and it's just going to be really what I like about Minecraft. I like the, the kind of oldness of it. And I am playing in 1.8. There's no snapshots or anything like that, um, which actually haven't even come out yet, uh, but hopefully soon. Uh, but yeah, so it's just going to be the regular Minecraft. There's no mods, and it's going to be quite fun, I think. Um, I can build a lot bigger, too, because it is uh, single player. I don't have to worry about uh, going over to where other people are building. How many tools do I actually need here? That should do it. And then I'll just grab this crafting. I'll grab a axe too, I guess. And so, yeah, I don't have to worry about uh, kind of like stepping on anyone's shoes. I should be good as far as that goes. I mean, there's really nobody else here. 
except for that jungle temple, which will be coming down in this episode. And so is that... Dang, that's a dog. The water I really, really quite like. And wherever there's dogs, there should be sheep, which means mutton. But unfortunately not this time, and I can't attack the three dogs. Well, we're going to have pet dogs, it looks like. Um, red mushroom, that could that could work. And, eh, okay. This thing's always scare me when they walk. There's a lot of dogs around here, actually. And some squid. Oh, and we're right by a swamp. That's cool. Maybe we can get a witch farm going. All right, there's a brown mushroom. I think that's one mushroom stew. I thought I saw some more earlier. Maybe not. And now I'm completely kind of losing where I am, which is not good. Um, but, all right, I guess I'll just use that for food for now. Let's get this out and... How do I actually want to do this? Is that bowl? No, that's boat. There we go, bowls. And then these just go in there, right? Good. I haven't actually made mushroom soup very commonly. All right, so I need to actually get started a lot on this world. I'm not going to bore you because I know... I mean, you've, you've done this, I assume. I assume this isn't your first time seeing this. But yeah, I'm going to be... Chicken! Wait, no, don't. Come back here. Stop. Hey, run away, chicken. Oh, more chickens. Skelly. No, bad. Not good. So I am going to get started collecting some materials so I can actually start doing something. I'm going to lay out the thing at first. I'm not going to go ahead and do it all. Um, but let's do that, and we'll see where we're looking at from there. Come on. No. Die. There we go. Now, why is it that I find iron before I actually find coal? I have to use charcoal to make torches. Now, how often does that actually happen? Let's go over there now that I actually have some stuff, and we'll actually explore the rest of that place. Now is the problem is remembering where to go. <laughs> so I've gotten a few things. I did find some chickens, like you saw, and I kind of killed a few more, so I've got a few bits of that now. And really do need to stop sprinting, though. Was it over here? I can't actually remember now. Um, Guys, I lost... I lost it. I just, I lost the whole structure. I don't know where the structure went. It's clearly playing hide and seek with me, and it's winning. So let's go find this thing. I thought it was right around here. I don't remember walking that far away. Um, yeah? I mean, I thought it was over here. Where could it be? Why? Oh, I found some melon. Oh, I don't have it on me. <laughs> Put it in the chest. But yeah, I found some melon, too. That was what I actually had to use as some early food supply. What the heck? Where does this thing lie? Wait, found it. Nailed it. Yes. Okay. Let's go back in there. Oh, dear. Okay. Well, me and my wooden sword are going to find all the stuffs. Okay. Um... Uh, okay, I was just kind of half expecting. Wait, why didn't I take that chest? Like, oh, oh well, I could have used that. Not a problem though. So we'll just follow this, I guess. Probably not the fastest way. That's still there. I feel like that was more than five minutes that I've been out. Oh. Oh, that wasn't. Wait, that wasn't right. That was not. That was very not right. It's this way. Uh, okay, now which way do I go to get? Wait, I thought I replaced you. Where did it go? How did that happen? Wait. There we go. Okay. Well, let's just go in this way then, and this should work better. So there's that one. Those pistons? I'll take those. Oh, a couple pistons. In the dark, I can't really tell. Okay, they're all sticky pistons. That's cool. And what's in here? Oh, some gold. All right. Bones and rotten flesh. All right. All right. Um, did I pick up the other chests? Cause then I'll be, I did. Oh, wait, did I? No, I didn't. Oh, well. I'll grab this one anyways, and I'll take the repeater. Might as well. Right, free stuff and some redstone, even though that's not quite expensive. Oh, I need the other stuff. I'm very on top of things here. I'll grab that. Come on. Face. <laughs> and I'll grab this one as well. And then we'll grab the chest. Alright, so X. Not gonna worry about the tripwire hooks, I never use those things. Oh, extra redstone. I'll take free redstone. I like redstone. Better. Okay, let's go. So, better explanation. That's nah, not the right way. <laughs> better explanation of how this base is gonna look. It's gonna be this shape and the outside is going to be very similar. The inside is not going to be a replica, obviously. I need a better way out of this. Is this the way that I came in? Yeah, it is. Okay, so it's not going to be an exact replica of this. It's just going to be a very large version of it. A lot more decorated, but it's going to keep the same shape. So it's got that kind of natural box shape, and then I'm going to keep that arch for the entryway. Make that a little bit more decorative. And it's got these pillars up on the side. I'm going to do something with those cobblestone, stone brick. This base is going to, at least on the outside, consist largely of cobblestone and stone brick and possibly some andesite. And I don't have the bow on me. I actually 
got a bow drop from a skeleton that had very little HP on it, but I got the arrows from the dispensers. Uh, so anyways, let's go back over there and kind of lay out where it's going to be, and I'm going to lose these things if I do not take them now. So let's just quick pick those up. I really like the metal and texture. That's probably one of my favorites. I don't know. Maybe it's just the shading on it, but I really, really do like it. And now it was somewhere over here that I made my hole. I should start making pillars, really, to help me out. Where? Here we go. Here's my hole. And we'll just toss in the rest of that stuff. So we just got all this here. And I'm not even going to buy... Oh, I need that. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm going to keep mining now and then start laying out where this thing is going to go. And then I'll be right back with you once I have all that sorted out. Why is it that I cannot make accurate predictions as to just how big this thing was going to be? So it was originally what I had counted out for going to be five times the size of the one in the jungle over there. And that would have meant, because this actual one is 10 by 13, that this one would have had to have been 50 by 65, I think is what I came out to. That number seems to be sticking in my head. And this is only three times. So now imagine if it were five times. That would be another... Oh, no, I that another 26 blocks out in that direction that'd be like where that birch tree is right there and then it would be another 10 blocks out in that direction actually no it'd be 20 blocks out because it'd be two times smaller so it'd actually be into this hill and then even out to that side probably to that hill as well so i'm very much glad that i didn't do that because i think this will be plenty of space for what we're going to do and i actually did run out of cobblestone so i have to keep going and digging for that that was actually still quite a bit this is probably three stacks ish um, but yeah so i'm going to have yet all this in here and then I've got little bits along the sides to fix up um, I'm still kinda cleaning up around the area I punched out all the grass obviously and I'm gonna chop down that area so I have an actual entrance and probably fill this in with dirt as well uh, just to do some kinda landscaping around here uh, but then this hole back here it needs to be filled out and there's all that and then there's still the inside of course and just actually building the rest of the structure and that will be uh, yet to come still but one thing that I've noticed before I get to that is that I need to really stop sprinting like I said before now, maybe you noticed this before when I looked over here, but when you create your own texture pack, or even combine some like I did, be careful not to let this happen. <laughs> Check every block before you actually use one of the textures, so I'll have to fix that. The lily pads are kind of a silver, um, but yeah, I don't know how I didn't notice that. That's really quite strange. Are they green? Yeah, they're green in my inventory, which is just really weird, but... Yep, so I have, I got to fix that. I'm not going to worry about that too much right now because we're not really doing anything uh, with lily pads at the moment. But yep, I've still got all this stuff to do. I'll be right back. <laughs> it's actually it's going to be quite a while for me. Yeah, this place is looking a bit like a prison. That's not uh, quite what I had planned here. But you'll see I got the walls in. And yeah, they are just flat cobble for now. That will change, of course. I'm going to be adding tons of stuff on the inside to make it look a lot, lot better than this. This is just the general frame for it. And it really is big. This this is going to be a huge project. And this actually took me probably four or five mining trips each at about probably 30 to 40 minutes apiece. So really this was quite long. And it was a good probably 12 or 14 picks, these guys here. So if we go from the outside, you'll see it a little bit better. Yeah, this really is huge. Uh, from the outside, it looks very blocky. Again, this will change. And you'll see these things in here. Now these are these kind of three by three blocks. This Imagine that block there. It's just for resources I didn't put up there, because really Cabo, I don't have a lot of it. It's, it's all right here. Um, but yeah, these are the sides of the jungle temple, and these are the little kind of one wide pillars going up, and I'll get to that in a minute. But if we go inside here, you can see that I got the floor in as well. And it is actually jungle wood. If we break this, you can see, uh, yeah, that's jungle wood right there. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> never thought I'd be using jungle wood, but I really do like kind of the reddish kind of tannish color against the uh, the cobble here. And this pack, really, it does look pretty good. But if we come out here with the oak wood, you'll see why I decided not to use this. So if you set this up here, look how it looks. It's like dusty. It's like a tan color. It's very bland. This just adds, I think, a better aspect to uh, the base. Because I mean, that's what this is going to be, is my base. So I do want it to look good. I'm not just you know generating a a new temple or anything, but if we check this back in here, and let me sleep quick so I can get over there safely. That is a chest. That is not my bed. <laughs> All right, let's try this again here, and we'll come out, and we'll head over to the temple to see uh, just how close this thing is looking. Now, the shape is not exactly how it is over there. Uh, there are some key things that I changed simply to make it a better like base overall. So you'll see like there's a little cut here that I have changed, and that's simply just for size, really. I want it to be easier to work with uh, for building everything inside. And now I actually know where I'm going to this thing. 
All right. So you'll see how it kind of cuts in right there from the base. Uh, the two blocks. So that would be six blocks over here. And I just decided not to do that, like I said, for size reasons. So if we go in here, and I guess we're going in the bottom now because I can't make that jump. This is what it would look like if it were kind of caved in versus like the full size of, I think actually down here is the full size. So this will be basically the proportion to what I have over there. And I'm not going to be copying everything down here because this is the basement to the place. I started counting the height from up here. And so everything basically from this up is going to be fairly accurate. Um, I'm just going to have like actual stuff in here, but the staircases will be in generally the same location and I'll have the same kind of almost like a catwalk uh, over at the actual base and eventually this will be coming down, but I'm right now using it for a uh, for kind of a reference as to actually how to build this thing, so I'm not entirely sure. And this little, um, whatever you want to call it, like the pyramid style type thing, this will be going on there as well. I'll probably make it more decorative because if I just multiply everything by three here, you'd be looking at see what six wide by three and that just look very blocky so i have like windows and stuff up here and like this will be a three by three i'll probably add something else on top of that but if you come over here back a little bit you can see it just a bit better here you see how these blocks here these are these one wide pillars i was talking about uh, they do not go all the way down like i have them on my base and i may or may not change that i don't know in this episode i'm not going to be getting to the actual decorating of the place um, but when I start to actually decorate, I might add windows lower and then raise these up a bit so they're more like that one. But for now, I think I just want to have them pillars like that and just end uh, closer to the top. So if we head back over there, uh, you can see that I still have really plenty of work to do uh, getting all those pillars up and getting the roof on. I at least want to get both of those done in this uh, episode. We'll see, maybe even getting the staircase in as well as the entrance. And I, I did the back. At least I laid out the pillars for the back because there is a back entrance over there. And I should have gone over to that, um, but now they're, or I rather, am over here. So I'm not going to go back over there, especially not my sprints out, but oh well. So yeah, there is something back here and I'll have to get that in as well. And that sun is strange. I thought that was going the other direction before. I'm very confused right now. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I got uh, plenty to work here. Plenty to work here? Plenty of work here yet to do. And I don't know why I opened that furnace, but I'm going to keep working here. Let's see what I can come up with when I'm back. A few more bits around here, and the ceiling is still lacking. This takes so, so much cobble. Wow, I don't know when I'm going to do that, because that really is crazy. I'm going to need a bunch of glass for it, too, so I don't really have any of that at all. I don't have any, any sand whatsoever, so that's, that is going to have to wait. But yeah, the cobble, like I said, takes so much. Uh, but I got the staircase in up here, and this upper platform... And I'm not sure entirely what I'm up here yet. I have a few ideas, um, but that will be for a later point. This isn't for right now. This is just kind of for layout and for kind of a start. And you can see the stone bricks uh, kind of line the uh, the jungle wood there. But yeah, like I said, you know, this is just a frame of everything. This isn't going to be like just cobblestone walls. There's going to be much, much more detail when I actually start putting stuff into it and actually have something to build with because really that's all I have right now. Um, but yeah, so let's go out here. And that was unnecessary damage. <laughs> I have no food anymore. I got some of these pillars in. Now, I don't remember how many I had in the last uh, clip here, but I got a few going around this side too, and I got them all laid back there. Whoa, that was some strange leg. Uh, let's run around this side. I don't remember if I have any over here. And no, I do not. So yeah, but just these, I mean, it takes a lot of cobble. Uh, but I'm going to be adding like arches and stuff between them, little windows and stuff, and then probably like banners on each one and Something in the middle here too. Not quite sure. Maybe maybe my symbol on a giant like like a guild or like a like a, a shield kind of type thing. But yeah, so this is all just kind of plans. And then I got this last staircase here, and this one is underneath the upper platform, and this is going to go down to the storage area, and it's just a stone wall right now. But yeah, it's going to be a giant giant room because I want lots of storage, lots of storage because I want to have a lot of big farms. Uh, in this world and so it's probably gonna be like this and there's gonna be like a little catwalk that goes around it and probably going back probably 60 or 70 blocks and then going down maybe 10 or 15 and it's just gonna be a giant room of chests so that'll be pretty awesome um, but I'm gonna keep working on this in the next episode because really I've been working on this for two and a half weeks I think <laughs> it's just been kind of in between my other series and yeah this is a lot of cobble, really, which is why it takes, took me so long uh, to get this out. So hopefully it won't take me that long to get every one of these episodes out. But this one took especially long because I was getting all of this. <laughs> yeah, that was that was crazy. Now I need to find some food. I really, really need to find some food. And I'm probably going to move all this chest and everything 
uh, underneath this balcony for now, <laughs> at least closer to my storage room so I can cover this area up. Do I have any food? Um, we have an issue. We, <laughs> we have it. Okay, I have potatoes. Okay, well, let me cook up some potatoes and hope I don't die. So anyway, I can split that into two, can I? No, wait, what's going on? Stop, I, I counted wrong. There, there we are. And then in the bottom one too. All right, so anyway, this has been MopBot, and I'm out.